Hi everybody, it's Sam from Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this week I've only got three things to show you. So the first one is the latest issue of Papercraft Essentials. This is issue 177. And for this one you get this really lovely falling leaves die and embossing folder set. I haven't even opened this. Okay, so this is the embossing folder. It's really nice, you just get the falling leaves. But the, I love it even more is that the dies, you actually get two. So you get the detail is separate. So you can just cut the frame and then you can cut the details so you can see the effects that you can get. You can cut it into your card and create shaker elements or you can create that just that detail and have it separately. So I am going to make a couple of projects using this and the inspiration is really, really nice and they actually show you how to use your dies to make stamps, which I've done before. I've got a very old tutorial of using foam, fun foam to make your own stamps. So there are some cards doing that within here. Also I feature in this month, I am on the design team and I do a lot of the shape up features for the more folded, fun fold cards. So where is my one? I, no, um, sorry, I forgot who it was that posted it on the group, but um, it was my stepper box card, which I can't, oh, there it is. There I am, this one here. So I've done a mini version, which I haven't done a tutorial for. So yeah, watch out, I may well do one, but it's the two box one, super, super cute. And then there is the large four box one that I shared the tutorial one, which hundreds of you have made. You absolutely love it. But yeah, so that was my stepper boxes feature. And that is the, like I said, the free gift there. It really is nice. In fact, where was the other? There's quite a lot of inspiration, but just as one example, look at that card. It's absolutely stunning, just with those three die cut leaves there, and then they've obviously got some stamps from their own stash. She's then embossed this background piece here and just used a light kind of dusting of some ink just to distress the edges there. And it's really, really nice. In fact, if I'm reading it rightly, ah, she's used it, mixed it with the free, for the love of stamps, Autumn Harvest it is, and that's the free large A4 stamp set that comes with Creative Stamping, which I haven't yet got, and that's just reminded me that I should get it. Here it is, Creative Stamping, it's lovely. And I don't have a lot of autumn or fall stamps. I've got one nice stamp set with all the sentiments, but I don't really have a lot of stamps. And now I've got that nice leaf one there. I do have a lot of leaf dies. I don't have anything like that though. So, but here it is, it's that large A4 one and it's brilliant and that's issue 74 and that's on sale now so I will link both of them below because the inspiration for that using the stamps and mixing it with this is really quite special I absolutely love it and you have your pumpkins so it's perfect for using for you know going into Halloween as well it's just going to work really nicely and you can see the other inspirations there using that so that's combined with the creative stamping because they're like all under the same umbrella and then you have this is it here so the lovely Nikki she's done she's that's where it shows you how to make your own stamps and then she's created these cards here along with these ones as well so yeah I'm looking forward to sitting down one afternoon and making some pretty cards with that one then this one's not really craft related but it's completely related to me and this is some storage that I've recently purchased for all of my rings so I did share a video a while back now and it was a little competition of how many costume rings I have and I have a lot 266 I think it was at that point but they were all in a big glass jar and that's how I've kind of kept them for years but I was finding some of them were getting a bit damaged and I was losing stones from some of them so I wanted a way to display them this is a glass display case that's how it looks here. I got them from Amazon. They were £11 each. Now you don't have to store rings in them, although they do have all the slots for rings, but it's a big piece of foam, so you can remove it. Now I haven't got, it holds 130 something. Obviously, when you look at the size of some of my rings, that takes up about four um, spaces. So I can't fit that many as it's intended for, but that's totally fine. So I have got four of these. So I've got two more coming because I brought two initially. Here's the other one and just realised that is not going to be enough room. But it's so nice now to be able to, you know, before a tutorial or, you know, when I get ready in the morning to just look at a glance and see all of my rings just there. And I just feel that they just seem to, I don't know, it's like that I can appreciate them a lot more because there's certain ones that I've thought, Do you know what, I haven't worn that for such a long time. And this one here is so delicate. I purchased this from an in a, an independent designer in China. So this lovely girl, she made all of these herself. She had a tiny little shop and it's real little berries there. These are all dried flowers, these are feathers, 
and it's just so I don't wear this outside I'm, t I'm just terrified if it rains but I also forget to put it on in videos because it's been in its gift box its proper ring box so it's been hidden now I've got it displayed you will see this feature but it is so delicate it is just to look at and I absolutely love it and I think it's got a bit now of an autumnal kind of look about it so yeah you will see that one feature some more but it's just I absolutely love that one so that's just got a little home there but um yeah I just I don't know been able to see some more this one's my I call it my Halloween one because it's even though I hate spiders it reminds me of like a spider with all the shaky bits on it there so anyway I'm not going to rabble on about my rings too much because you see them in all my tutorials anyway but for anybody that does have jewellery or you can think this would work for something else that you might have then I will link them below because they're really nice they're leather with the glass and I thought for £11 for the glass I thought that was actually really good so once the other two arrive then I will have the four stacked up there and it just it just works much much better for me so yeah that's what I've now got and then lastly, this is actually my mum's. She's just purchased this. Now she saw a video on the Tim Holtz Facebook Live that he recently done. And um, he has this new colorize dye kind of system. And basically it's different layers to create a 3D kind of look. And it's brilliant. So this is Jolly Saint Nick. And you get 11 dyes. And this is the dye of Santa that you will create and here he is here so this is what my mum has done and it's adorable now she hasn't followed it exactly she was just a bit too excited and just kind of went for it but on the back of all of the dies this isn't the only one in the collection there's quite a few so I'll link as many as I can but if I get them all out here so what you do is on the back of each one it tells you so this one here it says white one then you have on the back of this one here it says red one and they all have listed this one says black so it's telling you what color cardstock you need to cut with your dies now for me when I was starting off something like this would have been brilliant because I struggled to kind of think what worked well together and you know how it should look to have this row on the back I think it's brilliant so here this is gold and it gives you the buckle his glasses even down to the tiniest detail where is it so over the buckle I don't know if you can see there's another piece here now if you're somebody who doesn't like detailed things or really fiddly things you're not going to enjoy this you're really not I'm just going to throw it out there now but if you're somebody that loves to create beautiful toppers like this his face right down to look his little tongue his nose those tiny pieces on his cheeks it's all those parts and even his eyes it's all of these pieces that will bring it together and even his beard has got all these different levels and layers to it now ideally I think now when we were talking about it the beard is intended to maybe have in different shades so it creates that depth and shadow but everything is listed so this one here white two so there's your white number one and it's the same with stamping you always start with the largest ones first and then you finish off with the smallest dies so his eyes his little bits on his cheeks would be the very last pieces that you would stick down but for example this here is his beard and all of this area and because it's got number one you would die cut that first and then this is telling you white in two but you do it in maybe a slightly more off-white or a different tone and that would then go on top again and you will slowly start to you know work it out and see how it all kind of comes together there it says a skin tone so that's his face then you have this one here is white three so there you already have it so that's your first one you cut your second one you cut and your third one so they're all together this here is your red number three that was black you've got this one here which is this is the detail so this is gray it's telling you to cut and it's this detail here around his belt again all these elements will create that look that it's 3d and you can see it here watch the videos he's done a video so has oh gosh there's another guy I forget his name he's a Sizzix one of the Sizzix designers he's also done a video really informative and there's a few youtubers as well so I am going to you know do this myself I'm going to play around like I said my mum done this one I think it looks absolutely brilliant there's even different levels on the little kind of pom-pom on the actual hat so check out the others in the collection it's not just the Jolly Saint Nick I think there's some oh gosh let me remember there's um baubles i think there's 
I don't know actually I can't remember I'm not even going to try and think but it's a really nice concept so it's the colorize and it's just giving you these ways to make your dyes more 3d and also distressing as well so where you have got the white here and that's maybe more my style is when I die cut all these pieces I'm going to distress them all with just a little bit of I like using his this one here brushed corduroy I use that a lot for distressing it just for me gives me more of a sepia look and I just really like it so I would probably use that one and also on the belt if you used maybe more of a maybe like a linen cardstock or something a bit textured and then brushed over it with a, you know some kind of color to just distress it you would bring out the grain in the paper which again would add more of a material look so like a leather look or something so even if you've got a leather look cardstock then that would be great for the belt but um go check it out it's brand new so you know i'm sure there's some of you that haven't even seen this yet but i think it's really quite fun so i think these would look lovely as gift tags hanging from a bag obviously perfect on a card on the front of a gift box i just think they're really fun and i just think he's adorable looking He's got such a sweet look about him. So yeah, like I said, all the links will be shared below. So you go, very, very quick, but I just thought I would pop in and show you what I've got, because I know lots of you do like watching this. The magazines are always great, and I will link in that other creative stamping one. And I'd like to see what you all think of Jolly Nick there. Let me know in the comments below, because I love it. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go and get some myself. <laughs> and my ring collection as well, which I just love looking at now. But um, yeah, so that's it from me, guys. I'll be back tomorrow with a normal tutorial. Until then, see you all later. Bye.